my wife and I took a trip to a state-owned park created in the early 1900s. A religious group built a community and it was bequeathed to the state when the last of the group died. My wife loved going there. It was laid out over acres of land, houses, buildings, displays you could walk through. As we roamed the property, we were walking through one of the main living quarters when my wife brought to my attention a mirrored box displayed on top of a vanity. It sat amongst hairbrushes and old-fashioned toiletry items. Look at this, she exclaimed, holding the box in her hands. She seemed fascinated, turning it around over and over. What could this be? she asked. I was ready to move along. As I was walking through the rooms at the bottom of the house, my wife finally came to find me and seemed anxious. I'm ready to go when you are, she said. The weather had turned. Rain clouds were coming in fast. We quickly made our way back to our car. My wife was unusually quiet on the ride home. That night, after dinner, my wife came to me with a big smile on her face and holding something behind her back. She looked like a kid with a secret, and I laughed at first. Then she revealed what she was holding. It was the box from the park. What did you do? I asked. Knowing I would protest, she put a finger to my mouth. They won't miss it, and I really want it. You have to bring it back. The look on my wife's face told me I should let it end there. I sat in the guest room and turned the lights out. What would compel her to steal this thing? We don't even know what it is. As I tried to figure out what the hell happened, I started to feel tired. I must have fallen asleep, because sometime later I awoke with a start. I listened hard to try to hear what had woken me. I heard voices. Thinking that my wife had turned the TV or computer on, I got up to follow the sound. The living room was still dark, and there was no glow from the television. As I crept down to the end of the hall, I heard the voice again. It sounded like she was talking to someone, but it was far away. Suddenly, I felt like I had swallowed rocks. The voices led me to the closet. I opened the door and found her sitting on the floor, rocking back and forth. I bent down to touch her shoulder and she jumped, dropping something from her grasp. She stared at me blankly. It was dark and I couldn't see what she had been holding. I bent down and saw that it was that box. I picked it up and held it close to my face. It was then that I could hear one voice clearly. It was my wife's voice coming from the box. It felt like my soul was being sucked out of my body. I looked deep into the reflection of myself coming from the box, but my eyes wouldn't focus and I was getting black spots across my vision. A faint electric hum that had been coming from the box suddenly got louder and louder then the box shot out of my hands and shattered on the floor. At first there was silence. Then I heard the sounds of my wife sobbing. It seemed to be coming from everywhere, above my head, behind me, bouncing around the room. As I write this, what seems to be the soul of my wife is somehow trapped in the ether, the veil that separates here from another dimension.